Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay guys, let's take a look again on the euro currency and try to understand what is going on here and what we could do in general in the beginning of the next week. Well, unfortunately, it's a bit frustrating, but the overall price action on the euro currency looks a bit blur and doesn't allow us to make the precise decision what to expect. Since market stands in some area that keeps to open, open as for a downward action and current uh, behavior could be treated as the potential for the three drive sell initial thrust down ABCD retracement it's possible continuation to the downside because here we have also an agreement with the 618 resistance and this ABCD pattern that we have discussed on Friday but also this it could lead to the ABCD pattern on the weekly time frame on that pattern A B C bottom D continuation since that is the part of the right shoulder of the large head and shoulders pattern on the weekly time frame and if you will take a look at the weekly time frame you'll see that the left shoulder has the compounding shape as the ABCD action and since the head and shoulders pattern uh, is a harmonic pattern and it really exists some probability that this right shoulder also could take the shape of the ABCD action. We can't exclude it totally. And since market stands now at some point that uh, can't let us clearly understand whether this downward action will start or market will move to the upside, we probably can't take currently the some more or less position on some medium term direction. All that we could do currently is just wait for the further clarification and keep an eye on the intraday charts, on the some scalp trades that could be done on the in, in the very short term perspective within the one or two trading sessions. Because currently, if we will take a look at this particular ABCD pattern, what we have: acceleration to the upside, hitting the target of this ABCD, retracement, okay, and returning right back. So theoretically. When the market hits the ABCD target, the retracement right to the 618 support of this thrust to 129.23 area will be normal and acceptable. Because even if market will show the 618 retracement, it could continue move to the 1618 extension of this ABCD pattern to the upside. Also, if market will, will show this 129.23 retracement, it could lead to the appearing of the three drive sell pattern. So this could be a first drive. Since that top is 127 extension of that swing down. And 1618 extension stands right here. So if market will show this retracement, in this case the 127 of this most recent drive will stand in the same area. And that is also it's very interesting that 618 extension, minor extension of this ABCD patients 131 stands precisely in the same area. So how it will turn, what will we will get uh, in the nearest futures very difficult to predict definitely mostly due to this very choppy action this bounce to the upside well that's why we need to a bit more time to understand a longer perspective but in short-term perspective we will focus on the following time frame chart and on the third and minute chart that I find interesting currently well on the forward time frame chart our major idea is to understand whether market will continue to the 129.20 area to the support area on this daily time frame or it will continue move to the upside here by the way the butterfly that we also have discussed market has hit 127 extension shows reasonable retracement and by this retracement it has retested the broken level I just will show you here this low that's low on the daily time frame 129.50 Market has tested once, twice, and the third time it has, has broken it, retested from this time, from the from the upside action. Now is a major question. 
whether it will continue move high to the 1618 extension to the weekly pivot resistance one to the target of the great ABCD pattern on the weekly time frame that is also the same errors 131 or it will show deeper ABCD retracement uh, as we have just discussed well it's very difficult to say because that will depend on this behavior Recall that on the Friday we have discussed this thrust up and that was the excellent setup for the brand body buy. In fact, market now stands in progress with the brand body buy. Because what we have, first close below the 3 by 3 this green line is the 3 by 3 second, third close and hidden of the major 3.8 support. That is the perfect setup for the brand body buy. That move has started. The target of the brand body is 130.16 area, it's minimum target, 618 resistance of that thrust down. Since we do not know what to expect, either action to the upside or hitting of the target of the brand by the uh, patron and move to the downside as the compounding NBCD action, all that we could do here uh, is just be focused on the brand banner since we can say uh, with high probability that the first issue that market should accomplish is the hit 13060 area. Uh, sorry, 130.16 area. It's target of the brand body. What will happen after that? Nobody knows. Because that could be continuation to the next target or deeper replacement. From that standpoint, and since market stands in some very unstable uh, action and stable area, all that we could do is just um, wait for the, some stronger levels. Because if you would like to enter short here, how you could do this? You could you have bullish trend on the daily time frame. You do not have any bearish patience right now and no context for entering short because market could continue to move higher. From that perspective, from the bearish perspective, it's better to wait for the 131 area or for breakout of this 618 support and move below the weekly pivot point that also stands by the way in this area. If market will pass through the 618, that will be the minor hope that probably it will be not quite natural for the upward development to deep retracement and probably market will start move down. That's the level to watch for for the bearish development here or hitting on the 131 where some possibility for short entry will, will appear. Entering short here is not quite reasonable. How we could enter long? You can't enter long with the some more or less uh, medium term perspective. You can't enter long on the position on the daily time frame because we at resistance. That is resistance, that is agreement. That in fact there are some chances that could be even that could become the downward action and downward uh, continuation and some deeper retracement. But there is one uh, possibility how we could do that. Since uh, we have only one clear pattern is that brand by the buy and it hasn't quite reached the target. We could try to apply the scalp enter based on the Jod Napoli minesweeper technique and that will uh, allow us to shift this video to the some kind of the education video where you can understand on the real example how to use the minesweeper action, minesweeper technique. Well, first as I said we need Completement of the brand body conditions. Thrust reaching the significant support within the three trading sessions. That has happened. What we have to do after that? After that, we have to drop our time frame. I will use the 30 minute chart. That's our drop on the, daily uh, on the 4 hour time frame with the brand body. When market hits this support area, we need wait. First moment that we have to do is to wait when the trend will shift on the bullish side. That has happened with this thrusting up. Minesweeper A tactic, tactic assumes taking the long position at the first support after the first retracement down while trend keeps on the bullish side. Trend should not be broken to the downside. If it will happen, that will be uh, put the overall brand button starting under question. But while trend holds bullish, you can enter on long on the support. That is 
as you can see, was the 50% support that your currency likes very much. And trend, take a look, trend holds bullish here. That was the perfect point for the Minesweeper A entry. If you have missed by some reason the entry on the Minesweeper A tactic, or you prefer to wait for some further clarification from the upper uh, by upper action from the market, you could use the Minesweeper B technique, and that what what we will discuss right now. For the Minesweeper B entry, we need to wait a pairing of the confidence support, since Minesweeper B has the same foundation as the Minesweeper A, but it needs the confidence support area, and that area trader should use for entry long. The second condition is the same trend should hold bullish. If you will draw the main message predictor, you will see that if market even will reach this area, trend will remain bullish. That's what we would like to see here. So, if market will start move to the downside in the beginning of the week, you see that the harmonic swing pattern also points in the same area. That is advantage for us. When the market will hit this area, you need to take long position right in this conference support 129.77, 129.79 with the stop being placed below the swing low. That is also 618 major support of the whole move up and that will be also below the weekly pivot point. This stop will be for 15 pips approximately. What expect next? Usually market shows some bounce to the upside since this is the conference support area stronger than just the fee low on FIB level. That will give you opportunity to tight your stop or even move you at the break even because if even you will appear to be wrong and market will show for instance small bounce and downward continuation you will not lose anything or even will be able to exit with some profit. But if you become right your stop will be at the break even you will get the excellent risk reward since that will be risk that will be reward and this position will let, let you to uh, possess yourself on the potential upward continuation to the 131 if the 4 hour scenario will, will be as follows as market will show retracement continue move to the 161. Uh, that is a huge advantage of the minesweeper tactics and here how we could use it in the beginning of the next week. That is dedicated mostly to the scalp traders because as I said on the daily time frame and the 4 hour time frame it's a bit not very suitable situation, not very suitable area where the market now stands to enter on any direction. We need to see some more clarification or waiting for the some uh, stronger levels before taking any position. But for the scalp traders uh, that could be relatively trade with the small risk because we have clear pattern only in fact this is the only pattern that we have that hasn't quite hit the target yet and this small room to this target let you to make the very significant decision and take the very very uh, advantage position that could lead, could lead you either to the some scalp profit or even let you to possess and grab some greater profit if market will start to acceleration to the 131. That let you to enter with a very tight stop. So think about it. It's better probably to read this material on the farm because in, in our thread because probably you do not see charts very clear uh, on this video. But this is really a very interesting moment. It's very useful from the understanding of the entry technique. And I hope this will help to you. Well, speaking about the overall situation in your currency, well, I hope that market will give us some clarification and some uh, more possibilities for trading on the high time frames within the one two weeks when probably some solution should come, whether it will continue to move higher or uh, market will start to fall to the downside. Well, I hope that we will see this in the beginning uh, within the two uh, trading sessions. Until this will happen, well, let's be focused on this potential scalp. Uh, trading because this really could be very interesting.